Hi, I'm Kathy. I have been an art teacher for more than 20 years, and since 2008, I've taught more than 20 million kids how to draw through my website, Art Projects for Kids. I want it to be your go-to resource for easy, step-by-step -step drawing instructions. In today's drawing video, I'll be showing you how to draw a chameleon. Let's get started. This chameleon has been one of my most popular tutorials for years now. I think it's because the simple head and body and tail make it a good beginner drawing project. Lots of stripes provide all kinds of fun coloring options too. To collect your art supplies, you'll need a sheet of drawing paper, a pencil with an eraser, a black marker, and some crayons. If you want to follow along with a printed set of directions, this tutorial comes from my Draw Chameleon lesson on my website. Before you begin your drawing, it helps to make some centered guidelines to follow. By simply folding and creasing your paper in half in both directions, you'll be able to easily see where that center line is. Not to worry, it will disappear by the time you are done coloring. Step number one. The head tucks right into the middle corner like this and should look like a quarter of a circle. Step number two. The smaller body shape goes on the left and also has a flat bottom that sits right on that fold line. Step number three, the two feet are added here and here, like two large U-shapes. Step number four, the tail is a large curve that is going to go here. Start at the bottom corner and draw a spiral, kind of like a large number six. Now draw the other side of the tail that follows the same shape and of course does connect at the end. Step number five, add the eye inside the head, first with a large circle and then a smaller one inside. And time to add that fun long tongue. Draw one large spiral like this. Step number six. I'm going to divide the body into stripes by adding about five lines. Try to make them equally spaced apart. Next, I'll continue that same spacing through the tail until I reach the end. Step number seven, draw the tree branch that is below the chameleon. The line needs to skip over the legs and tail and then add another line below it. Draw some large leaves that are coming out of that branch Try to fill up the space on the bottom half of your paper. Step number eight, add a sun to your drawing. The space in the top left corner is a good spot and will balance things out nicely. Step number nine. 
Step number nine, time to trace. I like to use a black marker to go over all my pencil lines. It makes the shapes really stand out, which helps me with my coloring. When I'm all done tracing, I'll erase any of my extra pencil lines as they might show through my crayon colors later on. Time to color. The chameleon's eye is easy to color if you just fill in that small circle with your black marker. The body is fun to color in, looking kind of like a rainbow. I'm going to start with these six colors. I'll keep repeating those colors until I reach the end of the tail. This makes for some really good pattern practice. I'm going to color my tree branch a nice rich brown. And the leaves are going to be a dark green. A yellow sun will add some extra color to the sky. Now I'll fill in the sky a pretty blue. Pressing hard and coloring slowly will always give you the best results.
And there you have it, a finished chameleon drawing. This project has it all. Simple shapes, lots of colors, and a pretty cute face too. Thanks for following along with me, and I hope you enjoyed this chameleon drawing project. You'll find many more drawing video tutorials just like this one on my website, Art Projects for Kids, including how to draw a butterfly and how to draw a penguin. Check them out.